Hi everybody, it is Lisa T coming at you with some positive energy. Ah, we are doing The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beattie. So I missed yesterday, so we're going to do two readings today. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get right to it because it's going to be a little bit longer video and I don't want to take up too much of your time. So February 19th, yesterday, right? Is that right? 19th? Today's the... Yes, right? Okay, yes. Our path. So February 19th. Our path. I just spent several hours with someone from my group. And I feel like I'm losing my mind. And the group is... Um, obviously, this is talking about um, a codependency group. So I just spent several hours with someone from my group. And I feel like I'm losing my mind. The woman insisted that the only way I would make progress in my program was to go to her church and succumb to her religious rules. She pushed and insisted and insisted and pushed. She's been in the program so much longer than I have. I kept thinking that she must know what she's talking about, but it didn't feel right. And now I feel crazy, afraid, guilty, and ashamed. Eee, all those feelings. Okay, anonymous. So now to the reading. The spiritual path and growth promised to us by the 12 steps does not depend on any religious belief. So a lot of 12-step uh, programs, no, all 12-step programs, I think, like whether it's uh, uh, Gamblers Anonymous, Overeaters Anonymous, um, Smokers Anonymous, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, uh, Al-Anon, Codependency Anonymous, um, all of these things are typically 12-step groups and they speak of um, God or a higher power or a uh, yeah, a spiritual, it's, it's, it's so anyway, so it's, it's saying it's a spiritual. So even though it talks about God a lot in that program, it's not telling you to have a religious belief. It's just wanting you to have a power outside of yourself, something outside of yourself so we can get it out of this thing. No. Okay. So, um, yeah, the spiritual path of growth promised to us by the 12 steps does not depend on any religious belief. They are not contingent upon any denomination or sect. They are not, as the traditions of 12 Steps program states, affiliated with any religious denomination or organization. We do not have to allow anyone to badger us about religion in recovery. We do not have to allow people to make us feel ashamed, afraid, or less than because we do not subscribe to their beliefs about religion. We do not have to let them do it to us in the name of God, love, or recovery. The spiritual experience we will find as a result of recovery and the 12 steps will be our own spiritual experience. So it's saying there that this is a personal journey and it's all about what works for you. It's just about finding a higher power outside of yourself. Um, so each of us must build our own relationship with God as we understand God. So it's all about us building a relationship with something outside of ourselves. So being able to like close our eyes and, 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 and seek something outside of us when we need help. Um, yeah. So where am I? Okay. Uh, each of us, as we understand God, each of us needs a power greater than ourselves. These concepts are critical to recovery. So is the freedom to choose how we do that. So we need freedom to choose how we develop a relationship with a power greater than ourselves that is outside of ourselves. Here's the prayer for yesterday. Higher power. Let me know that I don't have to allow anyone to shame or badger me into religious beliefs. If they confuse that with the spiritual availability in recovery, help me give their issue back to them. Help me discover and develop my own spirituality, a path that works for me. Guide me with divine wisdom as I grow spiritually. So this is for anyone who doesn't believe in God, that you can still recover um, and, and find a power outside of greater, a power greater than yourself outside of yourself. Okay. So now on to February 20th. February 20th? Today's Gordy's birthday. Gordy, it's your birthday today. Oh, Gordy, we're going to celebrate after this. Okay. <laughs> So February 20th, setting our own course. Here's today, guys. Okay, we are powerless over other people's expectations of us. Woo, expectations of ourselves and others. That's a big one for me. We cannot control what others want, what they expect, or what they want us to do and be. Control, again, it's mentioning control, right? We cannot control other people. 
Um, we can control how we respond to other people's expectations, though. We can control our responses to other people, places, things, ourselves, we, our, our, our response to life. We can control that. Um, we stop getting out of reactive mode and get into response mode. And react mode is a, uh, a your knee-jerk reaction to situations. You can stop and then respond instead of react. So, um, during the course of any day, people make many demands on our time, our talents, our energy, our money, and our emotions. People make demands on that every single day. We do not have to say yes, 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 yes to every request. We learn to say no and take care of ourselves. We do not have to feel guilty if we say no. We do not have to allow the barrage of demands to control the course of our life. We do not have to spend our life reacting to others and to the course they would prefer we took with our life. So we don't, so that's, that goes hand in hand, like back and forth, right? Like we don't have to um, spend our life reacting to what others think we should be doing. And we also shouldn't be expecting others to do what we think, right? Okay. We can set boundaries, 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 firm limits on how far we shall go with others. We can trust and listen to ourselves. We can trust ourselves and we can listen to ourselves. Listen to that inner voice inside you. Take a moment, pause, get still, calm, and see what is right for me. Um, do, do, do. We can trust and listen to ourselves. We can set goals and direction for our life. We can place value on ourselves, place value on ourselves, value ourselves. Self-love, self-love, self-love. We can own our power with people. We can own our power with people. Buy some time. Think about what you want. Buy some time. Get still. Close your eyes. Take three deep breaths. What do I want? What do I need in this moment? Consider how responding to another's needs will affect the course of your life. Responding to someone else's needs is going to affect the course of your life. We live or own life, not by letting other people, their expectations and their demands control the course of our lives. That's how we own our life, by not letting others control it. We can let them have their demands and expectations. People can have opinions. We can allow them to have their feelings. They're going to have feelings. Where Feelings just come. They just come. We don't control them. So we can allow them to have their feelings and we can own our power to choose the path that is right for us. So everyone's going to have their feelings, everyone's going to have their opinions, but we own the right to make our own choices. Here's your prayer for today, guys. Today, God, help me own my power by detaching and peacefully choosing the course of action that is right for me. I detach from the expectations and wants of others. Help me know that I can detach I don't have to fill their needs. I don't have to fill their expectations. I can walk my own path. I can detach from the expectations and wants of others. Help me stop pleasing other people. and start pleasing myself. I love to say no. I love to care myself. I give myself permission to do that every single day. Give yourself permission to take care of yourself. Yes, we can be there for others. That's one big piece of my my journey. Helping others. When I help others, I feel not. <laughs> I'm on my camera's looking weird. I don't know what just happened there. My camera like paused. So anyways, uh, what was I saying? Uh, Yes, people.